100. The water is just absolutely insane. I can't imagine what it's like being out on the water right now if you're on the boat. All right, as I get walk out of the wind here, and you can hear me maybe a little better, I have to say something. This wind is something that just makes Kodiak absolutely beautiful. I recorded some videos and footage today of just Mill Bay Beach here and I, I'm just absolutely stunned. I know it's hard to hear with the wind. Hopefully this Deity D4 Duo does good with uh, wind suppression, but I just can't get over how beautiful and yet scary it is because I'm on this edge and it's windy and icy. And I'm just, I'm blown away. I brought out my 7200 and recorded some footage took some photos it just died on me but I really wanted to make today's video about the 7200 and I'm probably I'm gonna go somewhere else to record that's not as windy this is pretty rough all right I'm now wind free in my truck and let me just show you this windy app and uh, you can see Kodiak is under why don't I zoom into Kodiak you see Kodiak is under some heavy heavy wind it is all red and purple under the wind thing. I might have exaggerated when I said 60 to 80 mile an hour sustained winds, but I'm pretty sure it's up there. Uh, it says it's 35 miles an hour, but that was rough. And I don't know, just because I'm right on the water and getting all of that in my face or whatnot, but that's some heavy wind right there. Um, I'm going to see if I can find another place to take some photographs today that's a little less windy and uh, let's go see what we can find all right so what's going on guys I'm Chris Luck for those of you that don't know and uh, happy new year to everyone it is less windy I drove a little inland I'm at the golf course I wasn't expecting to be in a foot of snow out here but here we are I got Barometer Mountain behind me. It's hard to tell. It's uh, a little foggy, it's snowing now a little bit. Um, so the tops of the mountains are kind of white washed out. I like it. And uh, something the 7200 is gonna be good at capturing is tops of mountains. I wanna talk about why I think 7200 is probably the best landscape lens. So typically everyone would probably say 15 to 30 or 24 to 70. And I love those lenses, I really do. But the 7200 allows you to make moments that are simple, simple, but look beautiful. Like if you take an iPhone photo of a mountaintop when you're traveling somewhere, yes, it captures the moment, but it's not the same as seeing it. And one thing I love about the 7200 is you could just focus on something and it'll capture it really nicely. Um, I mean, this is the version three Canon. So F2.8, it's obviously really good and sharp. 
but whatever your lens is, whether it's the f4 or different brand, a 7200 is, I think Tamara makes 70 to 180 or something weird like that. But it's just a very good range to capture moments and even long lengths of field to just bring out the area that you're in, bring out the atmosphere. So I'm gonna try to take a photo of the mountaintop before it goes away. I'm gonna see what it looks like just standing right here. Let's just see. All right, it's not a good composition. Let me see if I can, let me walk around and see if I can find a good composition. All right, I made it back. So I actually found a road that I wanted to take a photo of. So took a photo of the road, I took a photo of the mountain too. And I think the 7200 really brings you into the road. It brings you into the unknown atmosphere of not knowing where you're going. You just see a unplowed road, untouched. Road says pavement ends, dead end. Really cool. And here's what it looks like with just my 15 to 30 that I'm using to vlog this. As you can see, it's just a road. And I really believe that the 7200 is made to bring you into a moment. It's really cool. I like this light that's kind of flashing off in the background. It's for the Coast Guard, for the planes. It's their why it's their antennas and they got guy wires kind of although you can't even see the guy wires they're kind of blurred out let me let's take a photo let's see what that looks like by the time i put my camera up it blurred out so it's pretty intense uh this fog out here and uh there are i guess there are a few people the road's not totally in touch so out there is pyramid mountain and the ski chalet and stuff so people do drive out there but the road is there's about a foot of snow on the ground right now so depending on where you're standing i guess the, the storm's coming in we're, we're supposed to get a blizzard now a blizzard here is more worried about the wind which you saw earlier but it, it looks pretty good look at that that's a blizzard right there it's kind of like uh it's kind of like hail it's almost like a, a, a snow kind of hurts me right now let me go take another photo of the road with the snow in it. The snow's really coming down right now. Uh, this is this is the blizzard here, I guess. Um, see, it's hard to tell. You're at 20, you're sitting at 24 millimeters looking down the road, and the picture I showed you is 70 to 200. Um, I put the actual millimeter that I used to took. I, I forgot what it was already, but you can see you could really bring out the depth. Okay. The snow's coming to my mouth. <laughs> coming to my mouth. Coming to my mouth. Coming to my mouth. Whitewashed everything. I'm glad I took a photo of the mountain because it's gone. Everything's gone. It's gone. And it's gone. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. It's gone. It's all gone. Alrighty guys, well I just got home. You can see it's snowing pretty good still. In this video I just wanted to show you that the 7200 is a great, great landscape lens. I know I said it's probably the best. In actuality, 15 to 70 millimeters is a very good landscape lens. However, if you've never used a 7200 before, I really invite you to try it out. The lens is a great, great way to see a subject with your eye not know how to capture it with a wider lens because there's some distractions on the left or on the ground you could really focus in and make simple photography out of a 7200 lens it's an expensive lens but i promise you'll find some amazing compositions with that i love this snow like how beautiful is this so that was that part of the video and then one final thing is I wanted to let you guys know that I had a gaming channel and it started to thrive really good. However, I realized that I that's not who I am. I like gaming, I enjoy it, but there's one problem. It's taken me away from what I really love in life. And that's getting outside, experiencing weather, experiencing nature. And that's one thing I sat down and I was playing and I started coughing and I realized, uh-oh, I think I have COVID. I did have COVID last weekend. I'm better now. But that's one thing I really wanted to sit down with myself and it clicked. 
if someone offered me a million dollars to sit in front of my monitor all day and play, because the content creators really are grinding 10 to 20 hours a day, depending on who they are. And I get a lot of respect to them, but I moved to Alaska for a reason. And I'm here to face a journey of this, of nature. And I hope you guys follow me along in 2022. I'm gonna to try to change things up. We'll see how the footage turned out today. Um, and the thing I'm gonna leave you with at the end of the video is a couple of pictures of 7200 that I've used lately. I really enjoy sunrise or sunset photography. Have you ever seen a sunset where the whole sky wasn't lit up, but just an angle? I just realized I have ADD. I just, I went from talking about the 7200 to talking about quitting gaming to do this, to back to my 7200. So I, have you ever seen a sunset where it was just a horizon that was kind of lit up? Well, the 7200, if you zoom in, it really brings out the detail in the sky and it allows you to capture the sunset without showing the boring plain sky that comes along with it. Wow, look at this snow. I, I love it. Anyway, all right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. 2022, I don't know what the year's going to bring. It started out with me having COVID. I had it New Year's Eve. And uh, the dogs are barking. But a sniper. Sniper. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. All right. Say hi, boys. Say hi, boys. Hey. All right. So, hey, 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 hey. Get it back in the house. Let's go. Let's go. Get back in there. So, I started out New Year's with COVID. I don't know what it's going to bring. Me and Angelica are working out. Well... We were, and then COVID hit, and then she actually okay. I'm better. We'll go back to the gym tomorrow. But I really want to focus on this channel this year, and I want to make my vlogs more interesting. I like talking like this, and I'm not going to let go of this. I It's just a classic vlog, but I enjoy setting up some shots and everything. So... I hope you guys have a great new year. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.